Oh my god. I'm gonna try to close my eyes and see if it's better. I'm watching you, Trader Joe's. Hi, hello, and welcome to today's video. My name is Courtney. And I'm Alex. If this is the first video that you are joining for, hi, hello, welcome. If not, welcome back. Um, so yeah, I'm fairly certain that of the past like 10 videos I've posted, three of them have been Trader Joe's taste testings, and I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. They just, they keep coming out with fun, interesting, and new things on a regular basis, and then we keep finding fun, interesting, and new things on a regular basis. So let's jump into it. Just a quick Trader Joe's insider. Um, their soup dumplings are V good. So you should definitely try those because we had those for dinner last night. Yeah, we tried both kinds. There's chicken and there's pork mm -hmm. and something. Mm -hmm. Both flavors. So good. The pork was a little bit better, but what are you going to do? True. Okay, so we're starting with something that I don't necessarily know if it's Trader Joe's specific, but the little sign said that these winter frost pine berries um, are strawberries that are supposed to taste like pineapple. Ooh. So I thought it would be really interesting for a taste testing, and there's a variety of colors, so I don't know what is exactly supposed to be like the most ripe. Like, is it the more pink it is, it's more ripe? Is it the more like yellow white it is? It's the more ripe. Honestly, we don't know. We'll find out and we'll tell you. So we're going to try a couple and let you know. They're such a fun, vibrant color. I know. Like, I want to try this one because it's got, like, both pink and, like, yellowish in it. Cheers. I understand why they say pineapple. Because it's a different flavor than a strawberry. It kind of just tastes like a lackluster strawberry to me. Like a really unflavored strawberry. Let's try another one. I don't get the pineapple though, but I get like a different kind of sweet than a normal strawberry. Yeah. Like I don't taste pineapple and I don't taste like super strawberry, but it's good. Mm -hmm. I'll give them a seven. I mean, I would eat these. If these were like normal, if, they were, if these are the only like strawberries I saw at the grocery store, I would just pick these up and eat them. So like, <clears throat> and I love strawberries. Such a fun color. I'm going to go with a five because they're, they're not bad, but I thought I would taste at least something slightly different where these just taste like strawberries to me. You know what? That's, that's fair. And understandable because like, I guess I'm basing it more off of the fact that I'm thinking strawberry. So like for what it is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna give it a five because it doesn't really like do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it's not. But different. on a strawberry level, it'd be like a seven or an eight. Like you know what I mean? It's good. Yeah. It's a good strawberry kind it's of not thing. A bad it's just not a yeah. pineapple strawberry. No. So five. Okay, so next up is a moderately, apparently controversial item. So these are peanuts in a pickle, dill pickled flavored Virginia peanuts. And when I was checking out um, at Trader Joe's, the per the guy that was checking me out, he asked me if I tried them before. I said no. And he said that the employees there are very split. Some of them really like these and love them. Some think they have like a chemically taste to them. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about him saying that. And I almost wish he hadn't because I knew we'd be taste testing these. But either way. We're going to taste test them and let you know how we feel. We like little pickle chips, so. I, the other day I tried um, Slim Jim's. Has a Slim Jim that is dill pickle flavored. I didn't love it, but I also didn't hate it. Like, I, de I definitely finished it. It had, like, this, like, minty flavor to me. Like, that dill tasted, like, minty to me. It wasn't good. I, I, I didn't like it. I didn't mind it, though. I, I, fi I mean, I finished it, so. Yeah, let's get a whiff of this bag. They smell like pickles and peanuts mixed together. Yeah, it does. It smells like pickly peanut butter. <laughs> pickly peanut butter! That's really interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm torn. Like, I really, like, want to like this. I think I fall into the category of liking them. I'm going to try to close my eyes and see if it's better. 
I don't taste that chemically, no. whatever he was mentioning. Like, these just taste like pickles. I don't... I don't want to say pickles that have been soaked in... <laughs> pickles. Jesus. I don't want to say peanuts that have been soaked in pickle juice because they don't taste... Or they don't have, like, the... Te- they're not it wet. It still tastes peanut buttery. They're not wet. It's, it's just... <laughs> dust, it's dusted with, like, a, a pickle Yeah, it almost dust. feels like they've been dusted mm-hmm. with a pickle dust. I, they're good. I really like these. Yeah, I would eat these. I would keep eating these, honestly. Me, too. I'm going to eat at 10. I think these are really good. I, I agree with that. I don't taste whatever chemically taste he was talking about. But I can understand why it might taste weird to some people. It's definitely not a normal flavor profile. Yeah, like if you don't like pickles, you probably won't like these. But if you if you like pickles and you like peanuts, or you're adventurous, you're gonna like these. These are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could keep eating these. All right. So next up is something I think that potentially maybe you might have thought we wouldn't do in a taste testing like this because they are soft and juicy mango. Mm. It's part of Trader Joe's dried fruit collection, but there's a chick I follow on TikTok who mentioned that these are really good, and there's, like, Trader Joe's has dried mango, so Mm. this is different. This is their soft and juicy mango as opposed to their regular dried mango, so I thought it'd be fun for a taste test. I've never tried either, so here we go. They're nice long strips, too. They smell delicious. I don't really get a smell off of them, but that's good. Mm-hmm. I get it. I've had dried mango before Man. and felt like it was like dry and sort of lacked flavor. Where this, it's called soft and juicy mango for a reason because it is still moderately juicy it's for being dried. Like pull apartable. Like you could like rip these apart, mm-hmm. and it's still got and some it's like got good flavor. Like, yeah. yeah, it's got great flavor. I love this. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight as well. This is delicious. I see why she said that she really enjoyed this. I love it. Mm-hmm. This is a really good snack. It is a good snack. And also, if you've ever tried mango and you felt like you were like, meh, it was eh, try again. I know, personally, for me, the first time I ever tried mango, I didn't think it was very good. And then I tried it again, and it turned out that the first mango I ever had was not ripe enough. So make sure you try, like, actually good, ripe, yummy mango before you knock it, you know? I'm probably going to have to go buy some of those myself. Those are really good. Right? Those are really good. Next, we have these all-butter shortbread sandwich cookies with a raspberry filling. I bet these are going to be delicious. And these are actually new. These are, like, a new, new item to Trader Joe's. And, like, I love these kind of cookies where it's got, like, that butter cookie and it's got, like, a... um, a fruit filling in the middle of it. Oh, it's perfect. Like that butter mixed with that fruit flavoring is just awesome. Hopefully this uh, meets that standard. I hope so too. I will be disappointed. I'm watching you Trader Joe's. You really get that buttery smell like right out of that package there. Ooh. Hell yeah. Mmm. It's so good. Her eyes are closed. I mean, that's a classic butter cookie with a filling. I mean, that's ten out of ten. You can't beat this. This it's is this perfection. is really good. This is so good. There's the, it's the perfect ratio of butter cookie to filling. Mm-hmm. It's the perfect sweetness because butter cookies like. You want them to be sweet, but you don't want them to be too sweet. Just a little bit so because then, you want your filling yeah. to take the rest of that sweetness Because home, then the yeah. raspberry mm-hmm. just takes this home. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is The nice amazing. thing about this raspberry jelly or whatever it is, the filling, it's got a little bit of tartness to it. So that even gives it another level of flavoring. And mm-hmm. that's delicious because, mm-hmm. like, you know, a good raspberry is, like, sweet but has tartness to it. These are phenomenal. All right, the final item of this taste testing needs to be cooked, heated up, and made. So be ready. Okay, so this final item for today's taste testing is Thai banana fritters. Mm. They're sliced Thai namwa, namwa, I apologize if I pronounce it incorrectly, bananas 
in a coconut milk, rice flour, and sesame seed batter. Mm. These are vegan and gluten free, so no need to worry on that end. Um, but either way, I've noticed them multiple times now in their frozen section, and Ooh. they, like, I can imagine these with vanilla ice cream. Mm-hmm. I mean, we haven't tasted them yet, so we don't really know, but like. It's cool. They actually, like, you can see, like, the little sesame seeds, like, actually in the batter. Mm-hmm. All right, go for it. Mm. I didn't hear a crunch. I wish I heard a crunch, but that, oh, God, it's still cold. Oh, fuck. I fuck. I'm sorry. I messed up. It's good, though. It's okay. Yeah, this would be delicious with some uh, vanilla ice cream. It reminds me of, like, tempura when, like, like, you get it for dessert at, like, a Japanese restaurant. Like, the tempura ice cream. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Look. Look. I messed up. I didn't heat it properly. I should have heated it longer on both sides. It's so good. That's incredible. It's just essentially, like, deep-fried banana. Imagine dipping that in chocolate sauce. With vanilla ice cream. Mm. I can't believe it, even though I messed it up. Like, the, they're still cold. Like, like I'm not going to pretend that they're still cold inside. I did not heat them long enough. I was impatient. They're still 10 out of 10. I was going to give it a 9 out of 10, but it's not their fault that you didn't heat it up long yeah, enough. Yeah, that was so me. They get that, a 10 that, out was 10. It, that was me. That was a lot So, of the me. last two products, I think for the first time... We we don't give a lot of we don't give out a lot of tens. You'll see a lot of sevens mm. because everything's like either good but not great. Yeah, and, and then like, like really good stuff is like nine, eights. Like yeah, exactly. These last two items are two of the best things Close we've tried per, like personally on our taste testing her taste testing channel. Excuse me. But <laughs> ours. But you know, cause like you know what, when it comes to. <laughs> when it comes to deep fried things or like fried things, sometimes it's too much batter. So, it, sometimes it's too much batter, but sometimes that deep fried flavor doesn't it, come across. Where that tasted deep fried this is in delicious. the best way yeah, possible. Yeah, it's like perfect. It's yeah. again, it's like one of those things where the ratio was perfect. Mm-hmm. It's like deep fried to banana to deep fried. Mm-hmm. Killed it. Yeah. Trader Joe's, congratulations. You've done some really nice things. I agree. I'll give you a high five. So, with that being said, this brings us to the end of another Trader Joe's taste testing. If there's something you would like to like us to see do in a Trader Joe's taste test, please comment below. Let us know if there's anything else in the the spectrum or realm of taste testing that you want to see us do. Please let us know that too. We thank you so much for watching. If the, you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, it simultaneously helps to support the channel, but brings you back to the next videos, which we appreciate either way. So thank you again, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.